Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. Um, today I wanted to do a quick review and flip through of this magazine. It's called Flow Magazine. A lot of you have probably heard of it. Um, it says it's a magazine for paper lovers and it's a magazine that's based in the Netherlands but they have like international versions that are sold at Barnes & Noble so I actually picked this up from my local Barnes & Noble um, yesterday and I was just kind of getting around to flipping through it and reading it. This is just like a bookmark. It's a little paper clip I got from a Happy Scrappy kit but um, I do want to read it cover to cover but I have flipped through most of the actually I flipped through everything but just as far as reading content goes I want to read it cover to cover so I just marked where I am right now but I just wanted to pop in and give you guys a kind of quick review and just flip through some of the cool features that uh, this magazine has so the magazine here retails for $22.50 um, which is pretty pricey for a magazine but um, that being said, I will say that this isn't your typical magazine. Um, it's similar to Darling Magazine, which I was subscribed to previously. Um, and just for the sake of this video, I'll just pull this out. Like this is Darling Magazine. Paper quality is amazing. The content is amazing. Really inspiring uh, stuff in here. And this was also like, they each run for like $20. So I kind of see it as that, like, it would never be a magazine that I throw out. It would be something that I would keep, like, on a coffee table or on my shelf and just preserve it for, like, ever. So it's kind of like buying a book, basically, or just, yeah, like, or like a cheaper coffee table book. Okay, so some quick thoughts on it before I get started. Is just that this is a magazine that's full of just inspiration and creativity and it makes you just want to get off your butt and just do something with your life whether it's something creative or you know being productive and all that kind of stuff so it's very inspiring in one word um, so for example the first quote here it just says a friend is someone who knows all about you and still loves you oh and another thing i wanted to mention is that this magazine is definitely something that would cater to a very big population of people so um people of any age really i think would enjoy this um whether you're a teenager or someone who is much older and it also caters to many different interests. So as long as you've got like some bit of creativity in you, which is basically all of us, this magazine will definitely appeal to you. I think so at least. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly just flip through it. Let me just remember where I am. Okay. So, and also another thing is that the paper quality changes from like section to section. It's really like interesting. So here is just this, I'm not going to flip through everything because that would take forever, but um, it just says this flow belongs to, and you could put in your name, which is so cute. Um, and there's just like a little editorial content, and the paper is very, very nice. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's got like this sheen. The printing quality is just amazing. I don't know. This article was really, really interesting and relevant because it it talked about like originality and how and versus imitation and how um, essentially well it, it it says that like you know everyone tells you you have to be original blah 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 where but in reality um, imitating is also really important and essentially that's what we do even though we may think we're being original that, that i don't think i really did the article justice in that summary but it was very interesting and i was definitely able to relate to it a lot then you've got like these thicker dividers between sections and then here in the description it tells you that it, the dividers were made by an artist from south africa carolyn gavin so all throughout, you have these dividers, and you could feel it because it's thicker. And her theme for this was like botanical something or other, so 
yeah, spoil yourself. What section was this one? Live mindfully. And I love mindfulness. So I love that this magazine has a whole section on mindfulness. It's just, it's really cool. And it's very interactive. So for example, here you have a my dream section. And then the first question is, if nothing could stop you, what would be your big dream? And just really like personal things that makes you go in depth and delve into your inner self. And then there's this little like pull out, which is not going to fit in the frame, but it's basically a timeline. I personally wouldn't write in this, but what I would do is cut out these little bits and use them in like my traveler's notebook. And a lot of this I would cut out and use in my traveler's notebook after I'm done reading it, of course. Um, so yeah, here's another article. I didn't read it yet, but I did skim it. And it's three takes on smartphone addiction by a professor, a new media expert, and a psychologist. And it's just so like, I don't know, I think the layout, everything is just so interactive and it keeps you intrigued. And then you've got this beautiful handwriting, which is so pretty, I love it. It's just, it's great. Again, an interactive portion. Oh, and they are the people who come out with the book for paper lovers, which I actually ordered this. So um, that should be coming in at some point. I'll share it with you guys when it does. Um, they also have like a journal series. I saw this at Barnes and Noble, but I have way too many journals. Can't even keep up with those. I don't need another set. So I passed on that. And see, this is something that I would like cut out and paste in my traveler's notebook oh yeah so see this section the paper quality suddenly changed to like an actual magazine type whereas before it was more like matte like craft paper kind of thing and then here you have an actual magazine so i think that's just so cool like it's just i don't know i love it and then how to make dutch pancakes from scratch like i love this and then you've got some cool recipes um, another divider and this is your simplifier life section oh and i was looking at this it's really interesting it's like the hundred thing project so a hundred like limiting your personal essentials to a hundred things and then keeping account of it and making a list of it i don't know if i could do that but um yeah i mean that's definitely something that i would try to like do maybe not a hundred things maybe a little bit more and then back here you've just got a bunch of different thicker cardstock dividers which are perforated so you could take these out see so like for example these and the back doesn't have anything but like the description of the next one so you could basically just cut these out and just scrapbook with them journal with them whatever you want to do and that's what i'm gonna do after i film this video i'm gonna take these dividers out look at this this is my favorite a bunch of like hand-drawn coffee mugs i love it so much it's so cute so yeah there is that magazine that is just my quick little review and flip through of it i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys are subscribed to flow magazine what do you guys think about it um i did purchase i ordered the paper lovers book volume 3 as well as the latest issue this is volume 11 um so volume 12 is on its way to me and i'll probably do a flip through of that too if you guys are interested as well as of the paper lovers book so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye